feeling awesome. Feeling like this is the place I need to be. I've been here full week, yeah. We had four opponents before him, you know. Four opponents turned me down, so I said to Dillian, bring me anybody, you know, just anybody. I want to fight. I'm in the shape of my life, you know, so there's no excuses whatsoever. I like it like that. And I said, just give me the best one you can get. You know? And he, he did the, the research and the winters came up as a guy. And he has 13 victories, 12 by knockouts. I love it. When I saw that, I was like, yes, no, I'm getting goosebumps right now, you know. Because I have 100% knockout ratio, he has 99. So I just want a good fight, you know. Parker beat him up, you know, it's essential it was. But I, I respect uh, Shandell very much, very, very much. And I think he's maybe uh, a little on the down spiral, you know. He, he's not on his top, top condition. I'm just getting up. So I think we, we match perfectly for this fight. fight. I had good opponents. I mean, they were not my class, you know. I, they, they were all knockouts in first rounds. Shandell is definitely going to be a test for me, you know, and I'm ready for that. I, I'm sure in my victory, but I'm ready for a test. You know. I, I'm only old school, right? You see, I'm, I'm a, how, how they say, small heavyweight. But when you see Muhammad Ali's weight, so I'm bigger than Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Muhammad Ali was like 190, 195. So I, I love my weight and I want to fight like this. You know, I don't like it today in boxing. Everybody's so big, it's, it's overblown. I can take a punch, I can knock out anybody, so I can go 15 rounds, I have condition, I don't need any extra weight. I really watch old school boxing, you know, Joe Frazier is my idol number one from the first day I saw him, you know. And of course, Muhammad Ali, George Ford, I get good bumps again. I just love boxing, you know, I love boxing and I love the old school era. And I love the Duran era, I love, I love everything, you know, now it's a little bit quieter, you know, it's all these big guys and stuff. I, I want to bring something old into this new, you know, I want to be different. I was in MMA for two years. I was national champion, actually, in my, in, in Croatia. But uh, it was good, it, it started seriously, but then I, I tried boxing and everybody beat me up. And I, I was like a national champion in MMA and I was beaten up by kids. And I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do this no more. Yeah, I worked as a doorman. Uh, I, I work as a doorman because that's the only job that you can actually box and work, you know. You can't work a normal job like, I don't know, like a postman or something. It's going to be it's weird, you know. You can, so I worked all nights and I train all day and that's it. That's the only way to success. Last year, I lost my national championship. I said it was a robbery, but who cares? You know, I lost it, and I was really in a down, down spiral. You know, I was in a, not in a good place. I was in amateurs for ten years, and I did it all, and I didn't see the sense of going, you know, longer. And then uh, I got offered to spar Dillian. It was like a, I don't know, some little money per week, and I was like, good, let's go. You just grab the money and spar with Dillian. And I was like 88 kilos. He was 130. It was 50 kilos there. I was like, no, I'm going. And I went to the Dillian camp in London, in Logbro. And the first day we, we spar, he says, you gotta manage me here. It was a brutal spar. <laughs> it was a brutal spar. I loved it, he loved it. And since then we just clicked, you know. He's my friend now. I'm proud to call him my friend. In Logbro, in the first camp, I did uh, nearly 30, 35 rounds. In this camp, we did over 50. So I was his main sparring partner. He did with me most of the work. I, I would do first eight rounds with him. So I go like, I don't know, four or five times. I went eight rounds with Dillian, with full power. And that is where my confidence gets up, you know, because Dillian is a dangerous guy. Yeah. Scary, dangerous guy, you know. And that's why I don't need any weight. That's what I keep telling to people all the time. I don't need it. And he, he's telling also, but, you know, people are, ah, you gotta be 240. Why would I do that? You know? My coach is Hrgovic's coach. You know, my, my coach made Hrgovic. So we were, we were together, we were supposed to go pro together, and then something split with, between two of them. I don't go into that. And we are not good anymore. You know? We are calling each other out. He's calling me out. I don't know why I'm calling him out. So I think it's going to be an interesting fight because he, he's big. It's like a Muhammad Ali, Joe Fraser fight. Perfect styles. You know, he's big and technical. I'm a brawler, I'm a fighter. So I hope this is gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. I'm really a humble guy, you know. I always wanna be a humble guy. I, I, don't, I don't really like that calling out, but 
sometimes I gotta do it, you know, because people demand it <laughs> today. I like it old school, before it wasn't like that, before Muhammad Ali, it wasn't like that, you know, it was two gentlemen. This gentleman sport and I want to be portrayed as one. No, but if I need to do it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> no problem. I think Dillian's going to, I said for the Rivas fight, he's going to win and I'm telling it again, you know, because he's, he's younger than Povetkin, he's much stronger. You know, Povetkin is a, maybe even a better, he's a better boxer, he's an Olympic boxer, you know, in, in that technical stuff, but Dillian is a beast. If, he, if they get close, and Povetkin likes to fight close, if they get close, Dillian's going to win 100%. If Povetkin does something different, some amateur style boxing, that's, it could be hard for Dillian. But I think Povetkin likes to slug also, so <laughs> if it's going to be left hook uh, versus left hook, Dillian's going to win the left hook. Fight camp has been great. It's just, it's just a dream for every fighter to be here. And I'm so humble and I'm so aware of it, what, what I get out of this fight camp. You know, everybody's home calling me, oh, you're there, you know. <laughs> And the whole world is on the wait because of this corona stuff, and stuff, you know. So I'm very, very humble, and I know I'm gonna get 100% out of me. I wanna, I wanna give the best fight that I had in me. You know, this is the the best fight of my life, the, the most important one. The whole country is so supportive, you know, and I love them. And the national televisions, so we have two big national television. They called me, they want to buy the fight, you know, but the zone doesn't give them because it's a pay per view. So, but they just show how much is they they are with me, you know. They're calling me and stuff, and I'm just a boxer, you know, <laughs> from the small town. And it's it's big for me. I love it. I love it. It's gonna be knockout for sure for sure, because I am in the best shape of my life. So there is no excuses, excuses whatsoever. And that's the best, the best thing you can be, you know? Not like, oh, I'm, I'm not good, I'm good. I'm, I'm. If he beats me like this, I'm gonna quit boxing. Well, what should I do next? I'm in the best shape of my life. But I don't see it, because really, Shandell is a great, great fighter. But as I can say, he's a little bit on the downward spiral, you know? And I'm on the, on the big up, you know? And, I think we're gonna clash and it's gonna be good for me.